more squat and deadlift, guys. But the difference today is we're doing some hypertrophy work. So I didn't record the whole day. I will soon for this particular day, but basically doing more sets and more reps than I usually do on my heavy days. So for squats, I'm doing a hellish five sets of eight. And deadlifts, I'm doing three sets of eight. But on deadlifts, I'm doing deficit deadlifts. So on this day, besides doing more sets and reps, killing myself, uh, I'm doing the work for, for the, these two compound lifts. I'm doing the work beltless. So hopefully that will transfer over into uh, my heavy days and when I do use my belt. Uh, on this particular day, I am uh, I'm squatting at 285. And then for deficit deadlifts, we're doing 360. of squats on today's video just because it is overkill <laughs> uh, I think I only got I just got three sets here shown uh, second set right now but something I did want to touch on on this video and I know I've touched on it in the past and if you follow me on Instagram uh, you'll see that I say this a lot but have to if you're at a sticking point you have to take a few steps back and figure out what you're doing wrong or you know what's what's going on like why am I not hitting my sets why am I not hitting my reps I've progressed this far so sometimes it's as simple as <laughs> dropping the weight or taking a deload you know I am not one of those guys that believes in overtraining or whatnot, but I do believe that your body needs to your body needs nourishment, which a lot of people are, you know, lacking in that department. That they don't eat as much as they need to to recover or to build muscle or build strength, size, etc. Uh, but also, yeah, your body just needs rest sometimes. I used to be the, the guy that used to train at 90 to 95% my max and for squats for example I used to just try to grind out 3 to 5 reps and, and you know sometimes it would work and just just due to my heart because I got a big ass heart <laughs> no um, but just due to me just not giving up and grinding those reps out and that's okay but Know, it gets to a point where I'm grinding these reps out every single week and I'm not progressing in weight or I don't feel confident to get to move up in weight then you know at that point what I should have done and what I've told myself that I would do is deload or decrease the weights and rebuild my strength or check out my squat form and, and uh, analyze that but instead I would say I'm gonna take a deload and say that, you know, or even just drop the poundage by 10 to 20 percent. And uh, I wouldn't just go back into the next day and be like, nah, this, this is the day. I feel strong today, I feel strong today. Uh, didn't work out to my favor. But once I started decreasing the weight and really focusing on my form and technique, uh, surprisingly, moving up in weight told me a few months ago that I was going to be doing five sets of eight for 285 pounds, I would have, you know, told you, all right, let's do it. But <laughs> uh, when it would, when uh, got under the bar might have been a different story. It would have been a different story. But that's my tip of the day. So 
learn from my mistakes. And if you're stuck at a weight, suck up your pride. Decrease the weights. Or even take a deload. And really decrease the weights for a week or two and rebuild your strength. Go from there. So right from squats, we got some deficit deads. As I mentioned before, we're doing 360. Staying on my toes <laughs> is uh, my biggest form breakdown, I believe, in deads. And besides what I've mentioned earlier, getting faster off the floor, having a better lockout with deficits, but I don't know, for whatever reason, maybe you guys could let me know in the comments, but when I do, when I do do <laughs> deficit deads, um, I do feel that I am on my heels more and not on my toes so if you guys know the reasoning for that logic for that please feel free to put it in the comments I personally don't know but I do know that these are translating well into my regular deadlifts set here guys I just want to thank you for watching this long don't forget to like comment and subscribe and tell your friends if you have a chance I'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching <laughs>